Before we begin, let me start by saying the moral of this story is don't f around with a man's dog. The stars of our movie today are a Colombian who once played an Italian. Fancy that. Mrs. Big, Carson Clay, and Johnny Johnny Jack John and Ted. Play! Our story begins at the end, with John Wick bleeding heavily and watching a video of his wife who I'm assuming is deceased. Oh, you know this man go hard. He wakes up at the crack of dawn just to relive the events that led up to his wife's assumed deceasedness. Then it's a funeral for the deceased wife. Again, I'm assuming. Then Marcus walks up to John and is like, You know I'm something of a hitman myself. I ain't even gonna talk about how none of these good-for-nothing bits are trying to console the man. Motherfuckers just drop in, have a bite of brunch, and leave the man with nothing but a messy, empty house. Funerals do bring out them fake motherfuckers looking for a free sandwich. Yo, ding-dong, man. Ding-dong. Ding-dong, yo. Here's a dog, dog. I don't mean to be pedantic, but how did she time that dog's arrival so perfectly? Like, did the bit know exactly what day she was gonna die and which day they'd have her funeral? What if the dog had arrived a day early? Early. And she'd have been like, oh yeah, that's the dog I got you. It was supposed to be a surprise after I was deceased. Or what if it arrived a day later after he got his car stolen and then he ride around with the dog in a suit and her ears gelled back while they both shot up bad guys. Mama, put that in the suit. We gonna ride But I'm getting ahead of myself. No more getting too attached to the dog because in case you ain't noticed, this movie ain't titled Dog Wit. Then the dog leave a duty and eat her Wheaties. See, if it was Daphne, she'd have left the Wheaties and ate her duty. But I digress. Then they make a run to PetSmart and stop for gas where John gets harassed by some guy that... Looks Looks like that one drug addict every family has, but you don't hardly ever see him because he's usually in jail when it's time for the family reunion. He wants to buy John's car, but the dog and the car are the only two things John truly do cherish on this godforsaken mud ball called Earth. Then he says something in Russian about John being a bitch, and John replies in Russian something about how he about to make this crack rat his bitch. And I'm not even going to complain about how this man sleeps with the light on, or how these strange bits broke into his house because he didn't have the damn thing over armored and ultra fortified, or how John gets taken out by a tiny stick, but it's supposed to be the ultimate whooper in the 300,000 years of homo sapien ass whoopings. And there's a dog at death. I'm sorry to burden you with such a disgusting detail. So for the sake of my own sanity, let's play with some hypotheticals. What if John got knocked out and woke up with the dog fine and all three of the bad guys dead? And you'd just be sitting there like, is that dog the real John Wick? See, I'm not the genius y'all think I am. I just avoid talking about the parts of movies I don't like by showing y'all the clip while I ramble about random bullshit. Meanwhile, the dumb bits who should have killed John Wick instead of Dog Wick take the car to some other criminal to get the VIN removed as though that's the only way to identify a $200,000 vintage car with more muscle than John and Dog Wick combined. But Luigi knows this car belongs to the man who is so badass, he can only be taken down with a bat. And the Mario brother nobody ever wants to be tells John who did the deeds and hooks John up with a car and then informs the dumb bit criminal's pappy that the fan is about to sling about some major dog duty. Bring him up of a son in here so I can beat his dumb ass. I don't know how to sound Russian, so for this video, he's Italian, which is cooler anyway. And he proceeds to beat his son's dumb ass because John Wick is not a man with whom you should fuck around unless you got that bat. And something about how John used to work for him from time to time and killed three people with a pencil and how he can rip your heart out so fast you can see it beating before you die and how he left the crime world for a woman and how you shouldn't be stealing a man's car after he done lost his puppy and his so Pepe calls John and is like, let's handle this like a civilized man. And John's like, um, let me think about that. No. So Pepe sends some men to John's, but this time John suited up. And as you can see, nobody brought a bat. Then the Popo rises and does what the Popo usually does. Nothing. And then John calls in, Stanley Steamer gets carpet cleaner. Why are y'all at it? Go clean up that dog pile out in the yard before Daphne does. Then Pepe hires Norman Osborne to kill John while John checks into a no crime and allowed here hotel. And then he goes to the basement where he meets the owner of the hotel who is like, you mean to tell me all we needed to whoop your ass was a bat? Yes, he's Italian now too. And it helps John find the dumb bit criminal who stole his car and screwed his pooch. Then there's a big fight and a bunch of people get deceased with a bunch of pew-pews where John efficiently offs the whole underground crime scene except the dumb bit because when John aims at him, he suddenly has the accuracy of a stormtrooper. Convenient, I know. So now John got some boo-boos, so he goes back to his room and gets sewed up and sh face. And here the man is just trying to get some beauty sleep and give his boo-boo some healing time and these two ass have to go f***ing it up. Then Marcus wakes John and John and this chick named Perkins throw down and there's a bunch of bloody leather and sexual tension. Kinky f and John learns that Peppy's gonna pay her $4 million to kill the man in this no crime and allowed here hotel. Because that's what I do when I'm trying to whoop somebody's ass. I confess both the dollar amount I will receive and the name of my employer. Shh. 
Don't tell mama I get paid to dole out ass whoopings, muffins. Meth is just a cover. And then something about how Peppy got some mucho bucko stored in the backside of a church. And John gets this guy named Harry to babysit Perkins while John assaults a holy man and finds said mucho buckos and sets that door afar. That's Southern for on fire. But look who's here! Big Peppy and his goons. And while all that was going down, Perkins was escaping somehow. Then John and Peppy's men exchange some pew-pews and it's a lot of uh, ah, uns. But Peppy's men is tired of f***ing around with this bitch and they just wondering why they ain't bring a damn back. Boring bad guy monologue. People are sh**, blah 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 blah. God took your wife because you're a dirty mofo, blah 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 blah. And it ain't fair that you got pussy while all I have was a son that is a pussy. Blah 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 blah. And then they try to kill John until Deus Ex Marcus. And John whoops more ass and finds Peppy and is like, Speaking of, where exactly is that pussy? Then he just tells him, F you, Dad. Then John finds the pussy, and then John shoots the pussy, because you don't f around with a man's dog. Excuse my language, but you must know by now, Jebediah is like good honey. Raw and unfiltered. So Pepe has a meeting with Marcus, and he wants to kill him, because he didn't kill John in time to save his pussy of a son. But Marcus is like, okay, but I'm taking some motherfuckers with me when I go. Godspeed, my fair man. And Perkins gets off for criming at the No Criming Allowed Here Hotel. Dumb bit. Then there's a long chase, and it's mano a mano. And somehow this old man is able to go toe a toe with a man who's supposed to be the ultimate ass whooper in the 300,000 years of homo sapien ass whoopings. Then John's like, live or die, man. And the man's like, die. And John goes, wrong, honk. No, I'm kidding. This movie might seem ridiculous, but it ain't Daniel honking bad guy nose to the glory of love ridiculous. So John walks off and considers going up to the spirit in the sky, but he watches the video of his wife, decides to try to make it, recloses his boo-boos, and adopts a dog that's about to get the chair. I'm assuming. So, in John Wick 2, did the dog die at the beginning again? If so, that seems a little monotonous. Plus, that dog definitely looked the type John would wake up and find fine while all three of the bad guys dead. And faceless. Now I'm gonna go hug my dog. Daphne, come give your Jeff some cuddles. The end. Thank you to these muffins whose callouts are long overdue. Amy E, Chris O, MC and Kent, Pete H, Vicky Ra Ra, Wednesday Lee Friday, Yogi, Bonnie, Clever Little Vixen, Frau Vey, Isabel, Nora C, Star Kitten, Steve M, Big Satchmo, Charles L, Colette L, Darian VH, David C, Dissy, Gabriella C, Hey Hey, Kristen R, Linda W, Patricia H, and Rod S. For Movies Explained for, I'm Jeb. Wick.